Non-stop news stories proving Palestine supporters right about everything. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. Haaretz has a new report out showing that the IDF has seized more than a quarter of Gaza's territory and is supporting moves by Israeli settlers to build on the areas that have been carved off from the Palestinian enclave. These areas are not just controlled by Israeli forces, but have been completely demolished, with IDF military encampments constructed where Palestinian living spaces used to exist. Lately, Haaretz has just been a stream of reports confirming that Palestine supporters have been right about everything all along. This same Israeli outlet recently confirmed that the IDF implemented the Hannibal Directive on October 7th, opening fire on Israeli soldiers and civilians in numerous locations. There are easily hundreds of dead Israelis who would be alive right now had their military refrained from opening fire on them, and their government then swiftly negotiated for their return. This is just what you'll get from a hyper-violent state that does not value human life. Yep, never forget October 7th, that terrible day when over a thousand Israelis were killed by the IDF, with some assistance from Hamas. It's very important that Trump lose in November, because if he wins, America will be plunged into darkness and depravity. It'll probably start backing genocides and engaging in nuclear brinkmanship. Why, it might even circle the planet with hundreds of military bases and start working to destroy any nation anywhere on Earth who disobeys it. The U.S. would exist in a perpetual state of mass-scale violence and tyranny in order to ensure the subjugation of populations around the world and the imperialist extraction of the global South. Can you imagine if something awful like that happened to the United States? Nobody wants to see that. This horrifying dystopian future must be avoided at all costs. High-level Democrats want their party to lose in November. You think they've enjoyed being the Darth Vader on the face of the evil empire this last three and a half years? Do you realize how hard it is to pretend to oppose racism and injustice while openly backing a literal genocide? Western officials when a hospital is bombed in Ukraine. This shows the savagery of Putin, the genocidal murderer, who must stand trial for war crimes. Western officials when a hospital is bombed in Gaza. We're waiting for Israel to tell us if this was done by the IDF or Hamas. The U.S. is officially going to permanently remove the ridiculous floating humanitarian aid pier it set up off the coast of Gaza because it turns out the extremely expensive PR stunt can't handle waves more than three feet high or winds above 15 miles an hour. It got almost no actual aid into Gaza that whole time, but the important thing it did what it was intended to do. Letting Democrats feel as though Biden is doing something other than actively facilitating a genocide. Liberal Zionism just means liberals who are in complete denial about everything Zionism is and always has been. They claim they just want Jews to have a homeland, but don't support racist abuses against Palestinians. Simply glossing over the fact that the state of Israel has literally always been murderous and oppressive to Palestinians throughout 100% of its existence, because the very idea of dropping a Jewish state on top of a pre-existing population of non-Jews necessarily means there will be inequality, displacement, violence, and abuse. Liberal Zionists compartmentalize away from this reality by saying they support a two-state solution to the violence and oppression, Again, just cognitively skating right past the fact that Israel has made a two-state solution impossible with its constant official and unofficial seizures of Palestinian land, with the express goal of stopping the creation of a Palestinian state. Until there is a complete overhaul of everything Israel is and always has been, there will be no two-state solution. It's just a series of empty noises liberal Zionists make to allow themselves to compartmentalize away from the glaring contradictions between their liberalism and their Zionism. In some ways, they're actually worse than the high-octane racists on the Israeli right and their right-wing backers in the West, because at least those guys are honest about who they are. They just come right out and say, yeah, we hate Palestinians and we want to get rid of them. While the liberal Zionist effectively supports the same policies, while lying about it the entire time.